In this video, I'm going to show you how I shorten and hem a layered dress, such as this bridesmaid's dress. This dress is made up of three layers. I've got this chiffon layer on the outside and then two layers of lining on the inside. This is quite typical of this type of dress that you would have a really lightweight outer layer and at least one if not two linings. Have your client try the dress on and make sure that they're wearing the right bra and they also have the shoes that they'll be wearing on the day. Once you've measured up the hem and decided how much you need to take off then you can start measuring and marking onto your fabric. I want to recreate the rolled hem that you see on the bottom of this dress here so I'll show you how to do that. I need to turn up the hem by 13 centimetres and I need one centimetre allowance. So I'm going to measure and mark up 12 centimetres all the way round. Try and keep your ruler perpendicular to the edge and place your markings on the right side of the fabric. Once you've measured and marked all the way round, don't cut the fabric off. It's much easier to do this hem with all this hemming allowance still there. I'm using a quarter inch foot on my machine because I find the markings on this much easier to manage than my regular presser foot. I'm going to fold the fabric so the wrong sides come together and fold along those marks that I placed previously. Try not to pull too much on the fabric, just let it feed and let the hem sit where it wants to sit. I'm going to sew about three millimetres from the edge and try to keep that measurement all the way round. Leave the needle in the fabric as you fold and prepare to carry on sewing. Once you've sewn all the way round, take the fabric over to the ironing board and give your hem a really good press. Once you've pressed your hem all the way round, the next thing is to cut off all your hemming allowance. Use a really sharp pair of scissors. I really like these duckbill scissors because you can place them underneath one layer and trim the top layer without worrying that you're going to cut through the underside. Work all the way around and trim off as much as you can of that hemming allowance. For the final stage, have the wrong side of the fabric facing you and just turn the hem up one more time using your line of stitching and the hemming allowance as a guide and that will just enclose the hemming allowance that you've trimmed off and then stitch all the way round. You want to try and stitch as close as you can towards that inner fold. Once you've sewn all the way round, back tack, cut the threads and then repeat this process for the other layers. 
Finally, give everything a really good press and that's your dress finished. 